We'll take a look at our tail of the tape presented by Cage Russell. These men are both five feet, 10 inches tall. They both made weight. The leg reach advantage goes to Natan Schultz. Three inch advantage there. Jesse Ronson is six years the senior of last year's lightweight champion. Lillian Garcia will present our final ESPN Plus bout. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the featured bout on ESPN Plus in the lightweight division, and it is presented to you by Presidente. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he is a striker, standing at 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in officially 155 pounds. In 28 professional bouts, he has a record of 20 victories and 8 defeats with 10 wins by knockout. Fighting out of London, Ontario, Canada, and making his PFL debut, here is Jesse, the body snatcher, Ronson. His opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he specializes in judo, standing at five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in officially 146 pounds. In 20 professional bouts, he has a record of 16 victories, three defeats, and one draw. Fighting out of Jean Villet, Brazil, he was your 2018 PFL lightweight champion, Natan Russo Schultz. Your referee in charge, Liam Kerrigan. Liam Kerrigan, the third man inside of our PFL smart cage. Natan Schultz, 2018 lightweight champion in the red trunks. Jesse Ronson, the newcomer. Round one. In the Round silver. Round one. Fight. Touch of the gloves, and we're underway. Schultz with a leg kick right off from his southpaw stance. Lead uppercut to the body from Ronson, and a leg kick. Both guys southpaws. See that calf kick on Ronson already. A front kick to the chin yeah, there. A calf kick. Jab to the body from Ronson. Kind of that shovel uppercut, almost a jab, but comes from a low angle there from Ronson. And another calf kick from Natan Schultz. I like how Ronson's looking to land shots to the body early in this fight. That high kick almost snuck in there. Watson's mixing up his combinations well. The left hand snuck right behind the defense of Schultz. Exchange of kicks, low kicks. Schultz moves in. Looked like he was going to attempt that trip. Ronson has none of it and pushes away, Randy. Nice catch of the kick, followed by a straight left hand by Ronson. And yes, Ronson's smart to clear that clinch and not hang around there long because we've seen some very slick trips and little foot sweeps. If you've been, watching, if you've been watching all night on ESPN Plus, we saw that same technique pay dividends for Loic Rajabov against Elias Jeroen either. Catch a kick, deliver the left hand. Nice low calf kick there. Drops Ronson who jumps back up and attempts a knee. I guarantee you moving into the second and third round, those calf kicks are going to... Big body shot landed there for Ronson. That hurt Natan Schultz. Yeah, he's trying to tie up because of it. And Ronson's doing exactly what he needs to do, framing up, keeping that space, not letting Natan Schultz get his hips into action to throw, Nate, to throw Jesse Ronson. That was a significant left hand to the body, snuck into the liver of Natan careful, Schultz. I was going to say, he's got to be careful. He doesn't take a knee to the head here. And now Schultz exploring, trying to get a takedown. He wants this thing on the ground. Probably still recovering. That was a nasty shot to the liver. And really, Watson really displayed some good balance right there. There was a point where Nathan seemed to have his hips over both. There's the judo. Big Ochimata. And right to the mount, and now to the back goes Natan Schultz. Back to his feet is Jesse Ronson. Chris Wade checking out the action from the locker room. Shaking his head no. I wonder if Chris Wade wants Ronson to get this W or if he wants to be the man to beat the champ. 
Schultz once again drags Ronson back down to the mat. He's got one hook in. Ronson's got to square his back up to the fence so that use the fence to peel Nathan Schultz off his back and also use it to get back to his feet. Schultz staying heavy on top of Ronson here. Ronson continually fighting to elevate, which is what you have to do to get yourself out of this position. Yeah, Ronson absolutely not willing to concede a takedown here. He's doing everything he can to fight back to his feet. Trying to fight hands, trying to find a way to get his leg under him. We'll go inside the red corner of the There you go, Schultz. there you go. Keep it going. Keep it going. Now with the right hand, come on. Put your weight on him. Nice work yeah, with the yeah, underhook yeah. there by Ronson. Little hip toss. Got Ronson out of trouble and back on the bottom he goes with another fancy trip. Judo on display once again for last year's lightweight champion, Natan Schultz. <laughs> and it looks like Ronson's head hit the mat a little bit on that one. 45 seconds left here in round number one. Still six points on the line. Schultz can secure himself the number one seed in our lightweight playoffs with a finish. Ross has got to start fighting hands. Not anymore. Now he's got to defend his position. He's got to clear that left leg. Ronson back to his feet, but still pressed up against the cage. Having a hard time elevating and all the way back up with 10 seconds left. And Ronson dumps Natan Schultz to, the, to his back to close out round one. Sean O'Connell, Randy Couture, Eve Edwards back next to our PFL Ready? Ready? smart cage here on ESPN Plus. Natan Schultz in the red trunks. Jesse Ronson, the PFL newcomer in the silver. And back to a furious exchange they go. An interesting round one. And this was the story a lot in round one at the end with Natan Schultz pressing Jesse Ronson against the cage, fighting for this takedown. Ronson has that wizard that's going to stop Nathan Schultz from taking his back, but Nathan is putting the pressure towards his head, trying to get Ronson to the mat. I think a great strategy by Schultz here, Randy. He got hurt with that big body shot in the first round at distance, so he comes out to open round number two, immediately grabs a clinch. Absolutely, and Ronson was back on the body shots and the nice combinations when Nathan closed the distance and got him into the clinch. Up and down, Nathan Schultz pulls Jesse Ronson to his back. Eve, we see Ronson hanging on the head of Natan Schultz, but he needs to get back to his feet. He was fighting about half of this in the first round, half the first round this way. What does he need to do to get back up? Yeah, what Jesse Ronson should be doing is clearing this arm out so that he can fight the arm on that side of, of his body. If he can clear that arm, he may be giving up his back, but fight hands as he comes to his feet. Ronson reaches for the underhooks here after attempting to maybe hang on the neck of Natan Schultz. And now head outside, single for Schultz. Dumps Ronson to his back again. Right back to a scramble. Ronson really needs to get to his feet and make space. He should not eat. This should be enough for him to realize that he doesn't want to fight this fight in the clinch. Back to his feet, Jesse Ronson works, but another trip from Natan Schultz. Part of the reason why he was a champion last year, Randy, this constant pressure, constantly changing angles, compromising foot position. It's tough to feel like you're in a fight when you're constantly losing your feet. You're trying to keep your base. Another body shot from Ronson, almost snuck low south of the belt there. Ronson's corner calling for him to break away. They want him to strike against Schultz. Schultz hanging on the head. I think his corner is telling him I think. And another hip toss because of that. That's the third one in the last two rounds. Pretty ex explosive, solid judo technique. 
from Nathan Schultz. We talk about it all the time with Judokas. We talk about it all the time with Kayla Harrison, who's in our women's lightweight division. If you get close, if you get in a clinch, you're probably going for a ride. It feels like something that you should be able to dissect on tape, and yet most of their opponents still fall into the same trap. I'm wondering if he got his frequent flyer card from Nathan Schultz Airline, because he's de definitely getting some miles tonight. He's got to make space. He can't when he gets back to his feet. He's the one pressing the action and staying in Nathan Schultz's grip. What he needs to do is spread away, push away. Jesse Ross needs to push away, get some space between them, and where he has had the most success at range. 90 seconds left here in round number two. I misspoke earlier. Schultz can secure at least enough for the two seed with a finish in any round here. We'll have to wait for later on on ESPN2 and see what Ahmed Aliyev gets done in order for the number one seed to be decided. Schultz back in the guard here of Jesse Ronson, pressing him up against the cage. One minute left in round number two. Now, 615 feet, that's not very far. They've, they've, they've not really moved a lot, why? Because they've been in this clinch position the whole time. And what I'm talking about is right here. That shows you the distance that these, distance these men have traveled inside the cage. Not very far because they're tied up the entire time. This is what you were talking about earlier. Eve Bronson is back to his feet, his corners screaming for him to break away, and yet here he is in a clinch with Natan Schultz, which is part of the reason why there are seven takedowns to Schultz's name. 30 seconds left in round two. Uppercut to the body for Ronson. Body kick for Ronson. Good angle by Ronson. He's got to get his back away from the fence and not hang on the head. He's about to get slung and again. Another toss from Natan Schultz. It's becoming a familiar story in this fight. Can Ronson solve the puzzle in round three, or will it be more Natan Schultz? We find out next. Randy Couture, I feel like it's Oprah's favorite things, and you get a takedown, and you get a takedown, and here's a takedown for you. That is a dandy. Uses that wizard, we call the wizard in wrestling, and over and, and uses his hips, steps all the way across. There's a Set double, gauge, tips him up, gauge. sets him back down, inside trip from the high, head outside single. Will Ronson trying to work on the inside, but not clearing that clinch, and that clinch, Nathan Schultz is on him like a rat on a Cheeto, man. He is not letting him go. Unbelievable performance so far. Eight total takedowns sir, in the fight sir, for Nathan Schultz. Season one lightweight champ in the red. Front kick to open round three. Ronson in the silver. It's an exhausting style of fight for both the offensive and defensive fighter. Will cardio become a factor here in round three? Both guys have great gas tanks. Ronson said he's known for his gas tank. We've never seen Schultz get tired in all the fights we've watched him in, so I don't expect either of these guys to get tired. I think Ronson's gonna get tired of getting thrown on his head if he keeps clinching with Nathan Schultz. But Ronson does have the skill set to get Nathan Schultz tired. What he needs to do is stay on the outside and keep poking holes in that gas tank by going to the body. Those are those angles that Ronson talked about in our interview with him. There's a single shot. Shot. Changes to the body lock from the head outside single. Picks Ronson up and puts him on the deck. Ronson was doing a good job up to that point of using those angles, moving, landing a couple of jabs. He got snuck a left hand in there. And Schultz, nobody does it better on our PFL roster than taking away the space and putting a guy where he wants him. He got tired of getting hit, so he closed the distance. And Ronson allowed him to get to that tie-up position. He didn't circle in that moment. Should have circled and tried to frame and make some space. Can Schultz Ronson get in? Oh, almost. Ronson's got to fight hands here. Nice foot sweep. Schultz Schultz dumps him back those, down. Kicking those feet out from under him and taking him backwards. When you've done all the work that gets you back to your feet, 
My solution is the first thing you should do is fight hands. Why? Because that's how they're holding on to you. That's how they're controlling you. You start fighting hands, it makes it much harder for them to control and much easier for you to work for an escape. There's nothing more demoralizing than fighting all the way back to your feet just to get swept right back down to the ground. And it's happened now 10 times for Jesse Ronson. Who's counting? I'm counting on our Cajunomics. <laughs> right there at the bottom of your screen. Jesse's not counting. He should count. He's got to get back to his feet. I keep saying it. Get back to his feet, make space. That's where he has the most success. Halfway through round number three here. Referee's seen enough of that. And will restart them at the center of the PFL Smart Cage. Immediately, Schultz tries to close distance again. Success so far. Ronson staying away. He wants to turn this into a striking battle. Schultz will have none of it. He's got the body lock. Down goes Ronson again. It seems that it's almost as if he's trying to prove a point. Take a look inside Ronson's corner with two minutes left in this round. Feet to the cage! Feet to the cage! Feet to the cage! Nice! There, go nice wait! Angle by Ronson. Body! Body! Hands inside! Hands inside! Watch the toss! Shot by Hips in! Get that arm knee inside! Down Ronson goes again. 90 seconds left in this lightweight tilt. Natan Schultz, the season one champion in the red shorts, smothering Jesse Ronson, the Canadian newcomer, who's only got one shot at points in a playoff spot. And so far, it's been a frustrating performance for him. He's, he just keeps falling for the same technique. And it's, uh, you know, it just reminds me of that old saying, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. <laughs> shame on everybody yeah. that's not telling me well. to release and make space. Is there a cliche for fool me 12 times? <laughs> Turn him at once, to the middle, to the middle, come on. Here's Schultz corner. Now, activate, come on, come on. Keep hitting. Just double under, double under now. You gotta change it, change it up. There you go. Short now turning up the heat a little bit, trying to get a finish with 30 seconds left. He can secure at least the two spots in our PFL playoffs if he can get a finish as time ticks down. Ronson reverses things. And now he's on the back of Natan Schultz. Schultz shrugs him off. Ronson hits with a hook. Ten seconds left here in exchange of knees. Schultz swung him off like a koala bear backpack. That was amazing. Schultz will try and finish with a takedown. That'll do it here in round three. Natan Schultz, I believe, did more than enough get his hand raised now. Tell you what, Jesse Ronson, obviously competitive, a very game opponent, but he's going up against last year's champion, very accomplished judoka, and we saw the judo on display again from Natan Schultz. Multiple takedowns and that smothering, nasty pressure. Any of those guys in the locker room seen this fight know where they don't want to be if they face Natan Schultz. Well, we saw Chris Wade in that little window at the bottom right of your screen several times, and he's watching Natan Schultz, and when someone else goes for a ride, you see Chris Wade shaking his head. There's a couple of reasons for that. He doesn't like that style of fight, but he's also been there before. He knows how frustrating it can be. He knows how frustrating it can be. But we saw in his last fight with Natan Schultz, he did make the adjustment. He did get caught with that hip toss two or three times, but he made the adjustment, and he didn't allow it to happen anymore. You gotta do that against Natan. Here's our Cajunomics final fight stats. And Eve, look, an impressive striking performance from Jesse Ronson. But I think that that number in the bottom left of the square is probably going to be the one that makes the big difference. 12 takedowns. Yeah, those takedowns, they account for a lot more of the, the time inside the cage for this fight. And I really believe that Nathan show control the fight with those takedowns at the clinch. Natan Schultz, a little exchange of sportsmanship from these two gentlemen. I 
tell you what, I know this is the first Professional Fighters League performance we've seen from Jesse Ronson. I want to see more of it. Absolutely. He showed great skills, great conditioning. His hands were in great spots. He kicked well. He did a lot of things really, really well. And, and look, he hurt Natan Schultz with that body shot in the first round. I don't know if we've seen anyone hurt Schultz that badly. Not last season. I agree. Not so far this season. I agree. First one we've seen. Lillian Garcia has our official decision inside the PFL Smart Cage. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges scored the bell 30-27. For your winner by unanimous decision, earning three points in the lightweight division, Natan Schultz! Natan Schultz, three points and a unanimous decision victory. He's currently now first in our lightweight standings. But we'll have to wait for the performance of Ahmed Aliyev to see if he stays there. There are our lightweight standings through five fights tonight. Schultz at nine on top. Islam Mamadov also with nine points. Ahmed Aliyev, who you'll see later in a future bout against Chris Wade, with six. Magomedov, Wade, Rajabov, Nijam all have three. Plenty to be decided still in our lightweight standing. Caroline Pierce has our winner inside of the cage. Thanks, Sean, I do indeed. Congratulations, you're in the playoffs. You got yourself a decision win there, but I got to ask you in the first round with the body kick, that seems like the first time we've seen you hurt. How tough was Jesse? Primeiro, primeiro por tudo, parabéns, você conseguiu o seu espaço agora no playoffs, mas eu quero começar falando do primeiro round, aquele chute, como é que você se sentiu? Parece que foi a primeira vez que você se machucou, como é que foi isso para você? Eu trocaram meu adversário de última hora ali na pesagem, eu não conhecia ele, mas pelo que eu vi ele tinha um, um punch power ali muito forte, e pelo que eu estudei foi aquilo, ele acabou acertando e eu acabei sentindo, mas eu tentei me recuperar para voltar. So they changed my, my opponent in the last minute, and I re didn't really have time to prepare for that, but I noticed that he's got a good punch power, and I felt that, but I was able to get back at it. Well, body shot, I mean, let's talk about the takedowns. I think we counted 12 takedowns in our Cajunomics, the statistics. That's a fantastic performance. That was obviously the game plan going into it to use your superior judo. E os takedowns, a gente contou acho que 12 takedowns que você conseguiu aí. Uh, parece, parece que isso era parte da sua, da sua tarefa que você queria executar aqui. Como é que você co co colocou isso para se executar aqui? A gente teve que trocar a estratégia em cima da hora. E eu parti pelo princípio de entrar bastante queda e tentar cansar ele. Foi o que aconteceu. Mas ele era um adversário muito forte e era difícil manter ele no chão. So we had to change the strategy last minute, and the strategy then became to take him down a lot and try to get him tired. But he's a great opponent, so it took a lot to get him down. We think you're sitting in the second place right now. Obviously, more fights to come. I know you wanted the number one seed, but are you happy with that right now? Você tem segundo lugar ainda agora com algumas lutas ainda por vir. Oh, sorry, I might have said you're in the first place right now. Sorry, you picked out the points. So there, first place. How happy are you with that? <laughs> É. Você está no primeiro lugar, como é que você está tá feliz com isso ou não? Então era parte do plano, ficar em primeiro lugar e vamos ver aí o resto das lutas para ver se eu consigo me manter em primeiro lugar. It was part of the plan to stay in the first place and I want to see how the other fights will go to see if I can continue staying in the first place. Champ for a reason, congratulations. Take you Atlantic City, take everybody. Thank you, back to you Sean, Nathan Show. Thank you Caroline Pierce, back with our Presidente moment of the night when we come back on ESPN Plus. Yeah. Get ready. Uh-huh. Listen. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah. No. 